On a toast. I don't think so. Another day, another broken dream. Gotta get started here. It's a little early. Getting started early on this Friday. Rosie's gotta have her glazed donut. Oh. Not ready. Not ready for breakfast yet, I guess. But it's gonna be a nice Friday. It's still a little cool out, but supposed to be about 70 today warmest day so far I'm gonna start it off one of my favorites apple fritter you see the apple fritters I remember and my mother also one of her favorites up in Canada they had apple fritters that were three times the size you can see barely the size of my hand they had apple fritters but well, probably about that big What I always thought an apple fritter is supposed to be filled with apple filling. Well, you can see, not these. They don't have like an apple filling, they have like an apple flavor inside. I don't I don't get it. any fritter I've ever had had a nice uh, filling inside but I do like these um, all this stuff up at that Dunkin Donuts right by where I live is uh, it's in like a little probably seen it before it's in a gas station but it's all like really fresh so they must get it nearby or wherever they make the stuff and uh, these things sell out about 10 11 o'clock you won't get one so trying to get started early on this Friday I got a bunch of stuff to do around the house the garage I got a I've gotten so busy I haven't had time to do you know get stuff sorted around and finish getting that red truck torn apart so I can get rid of that I got work to do on the blue truck I got maintenance to do on all my trucks and I gotta get the Suburban out. Turn the insurance back on on that for the for the season. So all I gotta do is tap the key, go for a cruise. But got no time. Just been busy hustling, broken dreams. So as you can see. In the last video, I, I uh, pulled that Jeep body up in that little trailer. Instead of all the bullshit 
people seeing it. I want that Jeep. I want it. I'll pay all this money for it. Oh, you should put that online. And yeah, heard it a million times. I don't do it. It's not worth the aggravation. So the guy I dropped it off to, he happened to have a 95 Jeep Wrangler, which was the same year as that. He needed all sorts of little parts off of it. Main thing being a steering column, because it was a standard and his was converted and he wanted the steering column. So anyway, he said, you bring that over to me. Let me take off the parts I want. And I'll give you a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee complete. But of course, he wants the wheels back. Everyone up here wants the wheels and tires back. I've never dealt with it so much in my life. But he's got another car, another Jeep that he needs them for, but whatever. It's complete. It's got three cats on it. You remember that lifted one that I scrapped a little while ago? It was missing the cat underneath, but it had those two little ones that you couldn't see up by the manifold. Pretty good money in those two little ones. Better money in the back one. But So, there you go. A lot easier than taking that thing putting it in my yard taking a picture same old deal dealing with people and guess what he tipped that thing right up on its side off that little trailer and the hole underneath is gone rotted right off you can put your hand right through it nothing left of the tub it's totally gone guy that where the Jeep was so oh, you can get all this money for it you should you, you gotta list that I got people stopping by that want to buy it yeah little do they know the things all rotted out there's nothing good the only good stuff was the top and one door and you know but see that guy needed some stupid parts the seats were better than his the top was better than his, the door, you know, steering column. I just would have sent that thing right to the scrapyard and squashed it all. It'd be nothing to me. It's all scrap. It's not worth the aggravation. I sold the two fenders off of that red truck. I list it, Chevy truck, guy buys them, bolts them all on and says that the headlights don't fit because his truck's a GMC. Well, I would have thought it would have worked, but guess what? You bought fenders from a Chevy truck. It said nothing about a GMC and you didn't tell me you had a GMC and no one questioned it, you see? That's what I'm saying. Aggravation like that. So, he's complaining to me. What am I going to do? I said, uh, take them off. Give me your money back. Oh, they're already all bolted on. Not my fault. So, he's, he says, well, can you sell me the headlights and the grill from it? For the Chevy, and I'll try to make it work. And Yeah, if you want. I'll sell them to you. So, 50 bucks. Dropped off the headlights and the grill to them. And, uh, you try to make it work, you know? But, that's what I'm talking about. You know? It's an uh, aggravation like that. Yeah. Discourages me 
from years, years of picking up cars. Everywhere you go, everyone is going to stand around, kick the tires, and say, oh, "You can get all these, all this money for all the parts. You got to sell all these parts." Nope. Done with that. Take parts off. I store them. People say they're coming back to get them. Nobody does. I end up throwing them away in the end. So that's it. You know, I figured Chevy truck. Very nice, clean. I mean, mint condition fenders and doors are very hard things to come by, especially up here in Maine. Everything's all rotted out. So I figured I would uh, be nice and give someone the chance, you know. And uh, that's what you get. Just a, just a headache, you know. So anyway. Taking a ride. 2004 Grand Cherokee. It's got 300 and... 50,000 miles on it or something 4.0 straight 6 I do gotta say they are uh, pretty good engines I guess they last killed a few of them this one's already dead so. I've been running a bottle of this every now and then through this thing. I got a little uh, pickup one time coming off the highway, kind of uh, was uh, spitting and sputtering a little bit. So I don't know, maybe uh, a little bit of bad gas or some shit in the tank. I know there was when I first got it. I had to rebuild the car, but there was a bunch of crap in the tank. So. guy told me this was the good stuff. Put this in there. So.
just like that the day's over not enough time in a day to do everything you want to do but the jeep turned out good all the cats were full and uh had dinner shepherd's pie life is good I was at the guy's yard in a red Chevy truck had just been driven in somebody junked it and uh, I noticed that it had four pretty nice almost new but very muddy Falcon Wild Peak 265 75 16s and uh, that's the uh, original size that was on the blue truck that we've been uh, kind of looking for and uh, seemed like a nice little score the wheel weights look fairly new on them so I assume they've been mountain you know mounted and balanced and everything and um, they will sell wheels and tires there uh, they don't care you know he doesn't care like what they are the condition just uh it's a hundred bucks a set if they have decent tires so I mean uh, each one of these tires would be a hundred you know if you went to buy them anywhere else plus on aluminum wheels all ready to bolt on with the center caps all they need is a little fresh coat of paint black them out and uh, so I made enough profit off the Jeep I said you know what I'm gonna buy these and <clears throat> so nice little score and uh, stopped by uh, the guys that I delivered the rear end from the other truck to and he ended up he didn't want the leaf springs so picked those up and uh, he gave me a bunch of uh, bunch of big heavy wire and cords and stuff all thrown in here got to get everything all sorted out tomorrow a little bit of aluminum all kinds of cords and wire so not bad not a bad day You have uh, the next size down on the old blue truck here. These uh, 245s, General Grabbers. They're pretty nice tires, but uh, I got a feeling one of them's out of round. Got a vibration, just can't find at certain speeds. And... Uh, I had them all balanced. The guy said they were all they all balanced good, but good night and tomorrow. We're ready for the next hustle. See you on the streets.